Hi everyone, this is Patrick and welcome to another video where we focus on Apple Mail. Last week I showed you how you can connect Apple Mail to nearly every other app on iOS. Now let's do the same for its sibling on the Mac. While Apple Mail on Mac is way older than its younger iOS sibling, sharing is also not very obvious here. But like on iOS, I can help you with that. Some of the tricks I have shown you in the previous video, which I will link to here and in the description, will also work on the Mac. Others won't, and there is a totally new way of connecting Apple Mail, which only works on the Mac. So stay tuned. So let's see what works on the Mac and what not. So option one using Siri. Since the Mac now also has Siri, this option should work just as it works on iOS. Sadly, it doesn't. Remind me of this email. What do you want to be reminded about? Remind me about this email. What do you want to be reminded about? Remind me of this email. Okay, add it. Unfortunately, Siri on the Mac is currently not able to create a reminder from a selected mail. I think this is an obvious error on Apple's side and I have reported it to the dev team. But for now, I have to tell you that Siri is no option on the Mac for creating links to mails within Apple Mail. Option two, using the uh, hidden share menu. This works exactly like its iOS counterpart. Apple Mail on Mac also has no share menu on the mail level, but you can select any text from the subject or body text and there you get a share as a pop-up. And like on iOS, selecting reminders here will create a reminder with a selected text and a link to the selected email. Of course, you can also edit the text and other details of the reminder here, like date, time, or the list you want to save the reminder to. And also, like on iOS, the link only works with the Reminders app. Other apps like Apple Notes or Draft only get a copy of the selected text, but no backlink, sorry. Option three, using drag and drop. This was the most powerful version on iOS since you could use multi-touch and select multiple emails to create text, including backlinks, not only in the Reminders app, but also in other apps like Apple Notes, Things 3, Craft, or many other apps. Now, I'm sorry to say that while drag and drop works on the Mac, it is not as powerful as on iOS. I found out that dragging one mail to another app will create a link with the subject as text. This works in Apple Reminders, Apple Notes, Craft, Things 3, and many other apps. But if you select more than one mail, you know, by pressing either the shift or command key while selecting multiple mails into one of these apps, you will get only the subject line of one of the selected mails and no backlink. Very sad. Also, you should be aware that during the drag process, you can't switch folders or lists. So as an example, in Apple Reminders, you need to go into the list you want to put the mail link into before starting the drag process. The only app where drag and drop works with multiple emails is the Finder app. Dragging multiple emails to any Finder window will create EML files for each email. And other than on iOS, you don't need another app to view those files. Preview will just work and it will open an Apple Mail like any other mail when you double click it. So, to be honest, I'm a bit disappointed by the drag and drop capabilities of Apple Mail on Mac compared to its more powerful iOS sibling. Option four, scripting. Now there is another way to connect Apple Mail to apps, which is currently only available on the Mac. I'm talking about scripting. Apple Mail on the Mac allows you to use Apple Script to extract the URL, that means the link to the mail, as well as other information like sender or subject. So it is pretty easy to create a script which gets info from the selected mail and creates a markdown styled link, which you can then include in a lot of other apps. I'll show you how. I'm here in Keyboard Maestro and I have the two scripts. This is the first, this is actually the basic script here. It tells the application mail that it should select the first mail from all the selected mails and then it will return this URL message and then inputs the message ID. So this will create the raw link 
to the email. And I have an extended version here. I call it the extended email link with sender and subject markdown. And I trigger this one with EE link for extended email link. And you see it is uh, nearly the same, but it also gets from the application mail, the uh, not only the message ID, but the mail subject and the mail sender. And then it builds this markdown style link with mail sender and mail subject and then adds the message URL to it. So I will put these scripts for download and you can see here, you can use the same scripts in other apps like text expander. So all they need to do is they need to be able to execute Apple script. So Keyboard Maestro is a, is a great way for it. So and what you can do here is I go into mail, I select the message and then just to show you here, I have here my Apple notes on the, on the right side and I can first type in e-link and immediately I get the raw link. Now with notes, you need to add break carriage return at the end of the URL to activate it. This is just something that happens with notes, not with other apps. Now let me show you the extended link. Since Apple Notes doesn't support Markdown, you see it doesn't work. This is specifically for apps who support Markdown style things. And a good example here is Bear. I put an EE link. You know, the link gets here it is actually hidden in bare. All I have here is the text. And of course I can go in there and edit the text. You know, you can just say, you know, Victor Craft for me is enough. I don't want to see the email. Maybe that's enough for me. Okay. And uh, as you can see, it's still a link and it works and it opens the mail. So in Apple Notes, you should stick with the raw hyperlink and use your own subject text. I could create something like checkout crafts, select checkout craft, press command K, and then you enter e-link as the link destination. And then you say, okay, and boom, the link is created and it works. Now this will work in any text field and it will allow you to connect your mails to an unlimited number of other apps, including, but not exclusively, Apple's own apps like notes, reminders, etc. Now in the last video, I showed you how you can save mails as email files using gestures on iOS. Now this can be done with two ways on the Mac. Number one, use the menu file and then save as to save a copy of the email, either as raw message source, that means email file, or as rich or plain text. Number two, you can use drag and drop to any folder in the Finder app. Now this works even with multiple emails selected. Option six, other apps. Since Apple Mail is scriptable, other apps have found ways to use Apple Mail directly for their apps, which they can only do on the Mac. An example are Things3 and OmniFocus, which have little helper apps, which allow you to directly create tasks, which include the text from the subject and a link by pressing a keyboard combination within Mail. Also, there are some nice plugins which will enhance the Apple Mail workflow tremendously. One of my most used apps for me is Message Filer. This allows me to file just using a keyboard shortcut and typing the initial letters of the target folder. On any new Mac, this is one of the first apps I install. It is that essential to my workflow. I'll put a link to it in the description. Now there you have the complete way of connecting your mail on the Mac to other systems. If you like this video, hit the like and subscribe button. And if you haven't watched my connecting iOS mail to everything video, you can do so now via this link. So see you next time. Bye.